morning students let's continue the discussion the next problem is find the value of x for which x into i cap plus j cap plus k cap is one of the unit vector so first we will the vector a is denoted by x half i cap plus j cap plus k cap but it is also can be written as x into i cap plus x into j cap plus x into k cap so then the magnitude of that vector is square root of x square plus y square plus z square but x square is nothing but x square y square is also x square plus z square is x square x square plus x square plus x square is 3x square 3 times of x square so it's also can be written as root 3 of x square root of x square is nothing but x root 3 of x but if it is given as find the value of x for which the vector is a unit vector so it means magnitude of a is nothing but 1 therefore x is equal to 1 divided by root 3 but if you consider the modulus is always nothing but positive but the values of x is nothing but either positive or it will be negative so therefore it also can be mentioned with the plus or minus the value of x is equal to either plus 1 by root 3 or minus 1 by root 3 next one let vector a vector b vector c be the three vectors such that magnitude of a is equal to 3 magnitude of b is equal to 4 and magnitude of c is equal to 5 and each one of them be perpendicular to sum of other two so first we will observe their condition each one of them be perpendicular to sum of other two so now first we consider what are the condition for the two vectors are perpendicular to each other what are the scalar product are in the vector product what are the conditions of the any two vectors are perpendicular to each other in scalar dot product of the two vector will be zero such a vectors are perpendicular to each other so by using that condition a and b are perpendicular to each other means a dot b is equal to zero so similarly if one of them being perpendicular to sum of other two means a is perpendicular to b and c that is one of the possibility its another possibility is b is perpendicular to c plus a and the third possibility is c is perpendicular to a and b a plus b so therefore these are the some different conditions a is perpendicular to b plus a is one of possibility b is perpendicular to c plus a is an another possibility and the third possibility is c is perpendicular to a plus b it's a conclusion of the given statement each one of them being perpendicular to some of other two so these are also can be written as means if a and b are perpendicular to each other then the dot product is nothing but zero similarly a is perpendicular to b plus c means a dot b plus c equal to c similarly b dot c plus a equal to zero c dot a plus b equal to zero then the distribution is also can be written as a dot b plus a dot c equal to zero b dot c plus b dot a equal to 0 and the third condition c dot a plus c dot b equal to 0 then sum of all these condition sum of these condition that is a, a dot b plus a dot c plus that these are the terms of the first equation plus second equation is b dot c plus b dot a plus third condition is c dot a plus c dot b is equal to so right hand side of all these three equations is nothing but zero therefore the sum of that values is also zero otherwise we will just call these equations
equations are 1, 2 and 3. Sum of equation 1, 2 and 3. It's nothing but a plus a dot b plus a dot c plus b dot c plus b dot a plus c dot a c dot b equal to 0. So after that a dot b and b dot a both are will be same because scalar multiplication is commutative. Then a dot b plus b dot a is also can be written as two terms of a dot b. Similarly a dot c and c dot a are finding with each other. It is also can be written as two terms of a dot c. Then b dot c and c dot b are finding with each other. That is two terms of c dot b. It will be equal to 0 and let me call it as one of the equation number 4. Then consider the what are the values that will be find out. So now to find by using this condition to find the magnitude of vector A plus vector B plus vector C. Now consider magnitude of A plus B plus C whole square. A plus B plus C whole square. So if it is in the form of magnitude of A square. But magnitude of A square is also can be written as a dot A. A dot A is nothing but magnitude of A whole square. By using that condition, magnitude of A plus B whole square is also can be written as A plus B plus C dot A plus B plus C. Then, these two are distributed by using in the dot product. That is first string to first is nothing but A dot A. First string to second is nothing but a dot b. First string to third is a dot c. Similarly, b dot a plus b dot b plus b dot c. Now come to the third value c dot a plus c dot b plus c dot c. Then A dot A is nothing but magnitude of A whole square. Similarly, B dot B is nothing but magnitude of B whole square. And C dot C is nothing but magnitude of C whole square. Then the remainders. A dot B and B dot A is nothing but two terms of A dot B. This what we are adding with each other is nothing but two terms of a dot b and then a dot c and c dot a. a dot c and c dot a are adding with each other is nothing but two terms of a dot c and the remaining are b dot c and c dot b is nothing but two terms of b dot c. See these functions are taken as in the one row by using in the fourth equation then the values is nothing but Zero. So by using in equation 4, equation 4, such a values is nothing but 0. And the remaining values are magnitude of A square plus magnitude of B square plus magnitude of C square. But if the values are will be given, magnitude of A is nothing but 3, B is nothing but 4 and C is nothing but 5, then we get substitute. A square is nothing but 3 square is 9. B square is nothing but 4 square is 16 plus C square is nothing but 5 square. 5 square is 25. So get idea. 9 plus 16 is 25. 25 plus 25 is 50. So therefore magnitude of A plus B plus C whole square is equal to 50. Therefore magnitude of a plus b plus c is nothing but root 50. So that is the value for magnitude of a plus b plus c. If vector a equals a plus j plus k, b equals 2i minus j plus 3k and c equals
equals i minus 2j plus k. Find a unique vector parallel to the vector 2a minus b plus 3c. So first we will put up the different formula for find a unique vector. So first condition is the unique vector a which is passing through along the line. Unique vector along in the direction of vector a. So along in the direction of vector a is also called as parallel vectors. It is one of the unique vector which is parallel to another one of the lines. Or along with the line both are will be same condition and it is defined by. So it depends on the vector a. A cap is defined by vector a divided by the magnitude. The second possibility is one of the unique vector which is perpendicular to both vector A and vector B. If one of the unique vector which is perpendicular to both vector A and vector B is defined by n cap is equal to A cross B divided by magnitude of A cross B. These are the different kinds of unique vector with the different condition. First condition which is parallel or on the line. So which moves on the same line. Otherwise which is parallel to one of the line can be defined by vector A by magnitude of A. Second condition is unique vector which is perpendicular to both vector A and vector B is defined on the cross product. So by using the given condition unique vector which is parallel to the given vector. So which is parallel means by using the formula for the first condition. So one of the vector which is parallel to vector A means vector A divided by magnitude of A. But in place of A is nothing but 2 into A minus B plus 3C. Therefore one of the unique vector N cap can be defined by 2 into vector A minus vector B plus 3 into vector C divided by their magnitude. What are represented in the numerator? The denominator is the magnitude of that condition. That is magnitude of 2 into A minus vector B plus 3 into vector C. So therefore, first we can consider 2 into vector A minus vector B plus 3 into vector C. Find the solutions of that condition. Now, 2 into vector A means, what are the components of A? 1 comma 1 comma 1 minus vector B components of B is 2 comma minus 1 comma 3 plus 3 into C 3 into components of C 1 comma minus 2 comma 1. So get simply 2 comma 2 comma 2 minus 2 comma minus 1 comma 3 plus 3 of 3 comma minus 6 comma 3. Let's simplify. 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. 2 minus half minus 1 is plus 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 minus 6 is minus 3. Third value. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Minus 1 plus 3 is 2. These are the component of 2a minus b plus 3c. After that you have to find the magnitude. 2a minus b plus 3c with the magnitude. That is square root of 3 square is 9. Minus 3 whole square is 9 plus 2 square is 4. So 9 plus 9 is 18. 18 plus 4 is 22. That is square root of 22. Therefore, then by using the formula for n cap. So n cap is equal to 2 into a minus b plus 3c divided by the magnitude. Therefore n cap is equal to. What are the components of that vector? 2a minus b plus 3c is nothing but 3 comma minus 3 comma 2. But these are also represented in the form of vector 3 into i cap minus 3 into j cap plus 2 into k cap divided by their magnitude is nothing but square root of 22. That is the solution of n cap. So one of the unique vector which is parallel to vector 2a minus b plus 3c. Similarly, next one is show that the points 
A of 1 comma minus 2 comma minus H B of 5 comma 0 comma minus 2 and C of 11 comma 3 comma 7 are collinear and also find the ratios of the point B which divides A and C. So first we draw the figure A, B, C are the points on the collinear. First we prove that these are represented are having in the same line. Now first we will find the direction of the line directed line AB. So AB is defined by OB minus OA. OB minus OA. What are the components of OB? 5 comma 0 comma minus 2 minus components of OA 1 comma minus 2 comma minus 8. Let's subtract. 5 minus 1 is 4. 0 minus half minus 2 is plus 2. Minus 2 plus 8. Minus into minus is plus 8. Minus 2 plus 8 is 6. So then we will find their magnitude. Magnitude of AB is equal to 4 square is 16 plus 2 square is 4 plus 6 square is 36. Get simplify. Either add it or then common factor. And it is possible to 4 as a common factor. 4 4 za plus 1 za plus 9 za. That is square root of 4 is nothing but 2. 4 plus 1 plus 9 is nothing but root 14. So magnitude of A B is nothing but 2 into square root of 14. Similarly, next to directed line is B C. A B after the next two line is considered B C. So B C is defined by O C minus O B. Position vector of terminal point C minus position vector of initial point B. Now O C are defined by 11 comma 3 comma 7 minus O B is 5 comma 0 comma minus 2. Get subtract 11 minus 5 is 6. 3 minus 0 is 3. 7 minus half minus 2. 7 plus 2 is 9. Then the magnitude. Magnitude of BC is equal to square root of 6 square is 36 plus 3 square is 9 plus 9 square is 81. Again 9 as a common factor 4 plus 1 plus 9. Square root of 9 is 3 into root of 14. So magnitude of BC is 3 root 14. It's a one of the directed line AB is nothing but 2 root 14. BC is nothing but 3 root 14. Similarly, it's another one of the directed line segments. So we'll observe the figure. AB is a one of the directed line segment. BC is a another one of the directed line segment. Then the third directed line segment is nothing but AC. Now, AC is defined by OC minus OB, position vector of the point C minus position vector of the point A. So components of C are 11, 3, 7 minus OA is 1, minus 2, minus H. So 11 minus 1 is 10. 3 minus half minus 2 plus 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. 7 minus half minus 8. Minus 8 to minus is plus 8. 8 plus 7 is 15. These are the components of vector AC. So after that, the magnitude is. Magnitude of AC is square root of 10, 5, 15. Square root of 10 is nothing but 100. Plus square root of 5 square is 25. Plus 15 square is 225. After that, 25 has a common factor. So, out of 25 as a common factor, remaining is 4 plus 1 plus 9. So, that is 5 root 14. So, we will observe the magnitude of the 3 directed line segment. One of them is 5 root 14. First one is 2 root 14. And then, 3 root 14. 